So here we are at Sydney Airport, our leaving point for the start of our Around Australia road trip adventure. The main reason for leaving at Sydney Airport is I also take up to four passengers or guests on each of the 21 day trips from major city to major city. So now we're heading off through Sydney up to the Blue Mountains for our first break and a cup of coffee and take in the view and take a look at the Three Sisters. So here we are at the Blue Mountains. We're going to take a walk down to the Three Sisters. I'd never been here before, heard about it a lot. Uh, a little bit sceptical because I'm scared of heights, but I'll tough it out and brave it out and see how I go. So this is what they call the Three Sisters in the Blue Mountains. Uh, quite a spectacular view and I was quite surprised at how I really wasn't that scared of heights. I was a little bit nervous but yeah I think I did well for some of the things I haven't done before in my life. So besides that magnificent viewing platform, they've also got the walk, a souvenir shop, a gallery. Um, so yeah, a fair bit to do. We go for a drive around the Blue Mountains, have a bit of a look. And now heading off to Bathurst, New South Wales for lunch. I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, so that shop there is a lolly shop, but I toughened it out and decided to watch my waistline. So this is my mate Jack. He's a boxer and that look on his face was, please stop and take me to the toilet dad. So here we arrive in Bathurst, an old gold mining, mining town, and Jack gets his wish and goes for a walk and has a toilet break and a little bit of a play. He's a bit tentative on the feet here because he knows this spot, I've been here before, he's um, got bindies and that's the last thing he wants to get in his feet, always got to pick them out so he doesn't play around in the grass as much as he used to. Excited to get back in the van and get on the road. So on this beautiful day we head on over to Mount Panorama racetrack. It's known as Bathurst. It's a, a big race every year that is in Australia with the supercars. And we go for a lap around this mammoth track. One of the unique things about this race is the spectacular view from the top of the hill and these windy curvy corners heading down the hill in a steep decline and now we get onto the Mount Panorama Strait. They even have their own accommodation in a hotel on the track. Magnificent view right at the end of the straight where some spectacular spills happen. So we hit the road again and head off to Orange through to Dubbo. Jack gets comfortable 
sit back and enjoy the ride. So we arrive in Dubbo, book into a holiday park, and then we go to Dubbo Zoo. If anyone doesn't know about Dubbo Zoo, it's, I think it's one of the best zoos in Australia to visit. You get really close and interactive with the animals. These little fellas are the first thing you see and they're just warming themselves up to the sun. <laughs> just looks a bit odd. So you have a couple of options to get around the zoo. One is to drive your car, hire one of those golf cart looking contraptions or ride a bike or walk. I decided to walk because it tends to give you time at each of the animals, you're not in and out of the car and the timing seems to work for the different shows that go on through the, the day. So I like all the animals in their own way but these guys tend to have a special part in my heart because they they're so graceful and beautiful and just just <laughs> inquisitive this one kept on following me and watching me you know they're just a beautiful animal <laughs> These guys, I just love their ears, they're always listening in. They're waiting f to be fed. They know the keeper was out putting the feed out and as soon as the feed was out, open the gates and off they go. They all seem to know when feeding time is because they hang around the gates. These guys are another favourite. So they've got this area called the safari area where you can get on this bus pay a little bit extra it's not part of your ticket and actually drive in and around all the animals in like a safari area where they're all mingling and getting on to well together Yeah, so well worth a little bit extra to get real close and personal to the animals and see them interact. So these three little fellas are playing in the pond right in front of the, right in the enclosure of the line. Wasn't phasing them one iota. He's waiting for a feed. Yeah. 
So a little bit of grooming going on here. Found these fellas so graceful. So here we're in a closure where you're able to walk around freely with the kangaroos and wallabies and the, up to the koala viewing platform. So this is another paid safari where you can go and look at the tigers. I didn't go on this one and it was the only animal out of the whole park I didn't actually get to see in its closure. They were right over the other end of the um, enclosure. So that was our visit to Dubbo Do. Totally enjoyable. Now we hit the road and head for the Warren Bungle. Every now and then we get a trip back to reality and caught up in some roadworks. So this is the Warren Bungles, a unique set of mountain ranges that you're able to drive in through and stop and picnic and yeah, just, just a nice area. And we meet some of the local wildlife, looks like a little porcupine. Not in too much of a hurry, but want to cross the road and get back into the bush. So at the top of the Warren Bungles is this Sliding Springs Observatory. So now we head into Coonabarabran for the night, but along the way we see some unique astronomy equipment in people's front yards. And of course Jack wants to meet the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> 